When you travel somewhere new, one of the first things you notice is the land. Is it flat or hilly? Rocky or sandy? Covered in trees or open like a wide field? These shapes and features of the Earth's surface are called landforms, and they play a huge role in how people live, move, and build communities. There are many different types of landforms across the world, and each one has unique characteristics. Let's start with mountains. These are tall, steep landforms that rise high above the land around them. They often have sharp peaks and rocky slopes. Mountains can be covered in snow, forests, or even glaciers, depending on where they are in the world. The Rocky Mountains, for example, stretch through Western Canada and the United States and are full of jagged peaks and deep valleys. Life in the mountains can be challenging, but they also offer beauty, tourism, and natural resources. Next up are plateaus. A plateau is like a mountain that's been flattened on top. It's a high area of land with a level surface. Plateaus can be found in many parts of the world, like the Colorado Plateau in the US or the Deccan Plateau in India. These areas may have cliffs along the edges and are often dry or rocky. Then we have plains. These are large, flat areas of land that stretch for kilometers. Plains are often grassy and open, great for farming and building cities. Canada's prairies are a perfect example. They cover parts of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, and are known for their wide open skies tall grasses, and powerful winds. Valleys are low areas between hills or mountains. They often have rivers running through them and are great places for people to live because they offer water, shelter, and rich soil. The Okanagan Valley in British Columbia, for example, is surrounded by hills and mountains, but has gentle, fertile land at the bottom where orchards and vineyards can grow. There are also hills, which are like smaller versions of mountains. They're not as tall or steep, but they still rise above the land around them. Hills can be rolling and green, like in parts of Ontario, or rocky and dry, depending on the climate. Let's not forget islands, land completely surrounded by water. They can be small, like a rock in the sea, or huge, like Greenland. Some are tropical with sandy beaches, while others are rugged and stormy. And finally, there are coastlines, the edges where land meets ocean. These can be sandy and flat, like beaches, or rough and jagged with cliffs and coves. Places like Nova Scotia and British Columbia have long, winding coastlines with bays, inlets, and fishing villages tucked between the rocks. So here's your challenge. You're going to create a series of three illustrated postcards, each one featuring a different landform from somewhere in the world. Here's how it works. Choose three different landforms to feature, like a mountain range, plateau, plain, valley, coastline, hill, or island. For each postcard, draw a realistic scene showing what that landform looks like. Add land features, vegetation, and anything else that helps tell the story, like a river, a road, a person, or an animal. On the back of each postcard, write a short message as if you're visiting that landform and describing it to someone back home. Focus on what the land looks like, what it might feel like to visit, why this landform is special or unique. Your postcards can be about real or fictional landforms, but either way, 
make them colorful, creative, and full of detail. Think like a geographer. What makes each landform different? How might people interact with it? What's the climate like there? What's the view? By the end, you'll have a mini postcard collection that shows the variety and beauty of landforms around the world. Good luck, and don't forget to write home.